lasagna. It's the perfect Italian comfort food. It's great for parties, it feeds a huge crowd, and what's better than that ooey gooey melted mozzarella with a yummy meat sauce? Everyone will love it, I promise you. I'm Sugar, and you're watching Cooking with Sugar TV. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a beautiful lasagna. It's Sunday pasta, and it's my uncle's birthday, and pretty soon I'm gonna have a house full of people, and I don't wanna be in the kitchen cooking all day. So my lasagna's gonna be in the oven, I'm gonna be enjoying my family, a glass of wine, a little dancing, my uncle likes to play the accordion, and it's just gonna be a fun time. So it's comfort food, it's family food, and it's gonna be great. So a lot of you out there have asked me how to make a lasagna because you think it's so difficult. Well, I'm gonna show you how simple it is to put together the most beautiful, delicious lasagna you've ever had in your life. Here are the ingredients you're gonna need. You're gonna need three types of meat, a ground beef, a ground veal, and a pork sausage. Then we're gonna need some crushed tomatoes, tomato paste, some beef stock, olive oil, red wine, fresh parsley, fresh basil, some mozzarella cheese, ricotta cheese, parmesan cheese, a little bit of sugar, a carrot, a celery stalk, some garlic cloves, two bay leaves, some eggs, onion, salt and pepper, and naturally our lasagna noodles. It may seem like a lot of ingredients, but trust me when I tell you, it's very easy to put together. I like to chop my garlic by hand, but for the celery and the carrots, I quick throw them into my little mini chopper, or you can do it all in a food processor. But this makes it so much faster and you get a nice fine chop. Okay, so we're gonna start by putting some olive oil in a pan, and I'm using a Dutch oven, but you could use any medium-sized pot that you like. I want to get that nice and hot. Now my pan is hot, so I'm gonna add my sausage. Get that in the pan. And I'm gonna break this up with a wooden spoon, but I want it to be chunky. And I'm just gonna get this going first, and then I'm gonna add the rest of the meat. Now you see how that's browning on the bottom? I want that, because that's gonna give it so much flavor. So now I'm gonna add the rest of my meat. My ground beef, my ground veal. Now I'm gonna season with a good amount of salt and pepper. Now I'm just breaking this up with the wooden spoon, but still keeping it chunky and letting everything brown. Then we're gonna add our garlic and onions, and the celery and the carrots, and the wine, and all the good stuff. Now I'm gonna add my onions and garlic, get that going. I'm also gonna add the celery and the carrot that I chopped up. A Little bit more salt and pepper. It's very important to season as you go along when you're cooking. And that's how you get a really nice flavor in your sauces. I wanna get my pot nice and hot before I add the wine because I want the alcohol to cook off. So this is good. I got a nice fast simmer here, so I'm gonna add my wine. I'm gonna give that a stir and let the alcohol cook off and then I'm gonna add the beef stock. Okay, now I'm gonna turn down the heat. I'm gonna add my beef stock. That'll cool everything down. And then we can add the tomatoes. And then I'll put in my paste. We're gonna get this all mixed in. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar, and that helps balance out the acid in the tomatoes. And you don't have to add it. I don't always do it. I, I usually taste it and see, but 
it gives it a nice flavor. Then I'm going to put my bay leaf in, my fresh basil, and I'm going to just let this simmer for about an hour. And I'm going to keep turning it every now and then while I cook my lasagna noodles and get everything else ready. So my water's boiling. I'm going to put a big handful of salt in there. If you want the water to be nice and salted. Then I'm going to add my pasta. These noodles are only going to cook for about five minutes, just till they're soft enough where they're pliable. Don't want to overcook them. I want them nice and al dente. You want to make sure they're al dente so that your lasagna is not going to be too mushy. You want the, the noodle to hold up when it bakes in the oven. Then we're going to give them a cool rinse under some water, a little drizzle of olive oil, and we'll be ready to assemble our lasagna. I'm going to start by making the filling for the lasagna by putting the ricotta in a bowl. I'm going to add the eggs, some grated cheese, about a half cup, and about a half a cup of fresh parsley. I'm going to mix that up, season it a little bit with a little salt and pepper, and that's going to be my filling. Now I have a 9 by 13 baking dish here, and I'm just going to spray it with a little bit of cooking spray. So I'm going to start by putting in a layer of sauce, and this is still really hot. I would probably let this cool a little bit more, but to save time, I'm just going to get it assembled. So you want to just get a little layer of sauce in there at the bottom, and then we're going to add our noodles. And you see how I'm overlapping them? It's sort of like uh, roof shingles. Just want to overlap them just a little bit. Then I'm going to add my ricotta. And I'm going to smooth it out. If you have some space on the sides, you can take a noodle that's torn and just put it on the sides there. Then I'm going to give a sprinkle of more Parmesan cheese, a sprinkle of some grated mozzarella, and I like to buy the block and grate it myself. I'm going to add a little more sauce and just repeat that whole layering process. And you're going to do that till you get to the top. Now I'm going to layer it across like this. Now I'm going to cover this with tin foil, and this is going to go into a 350 degree oven for about 30 or 40 minutes till it's nice and hot and bubbly. Then I'm going to uncover it, put the rest of my mozzarella on, and bake it uncovered for about 10-15 minutes so it browns and the cheese melts. So you see how easy that was to make, and the lasagna is in the oven so all the hard work is done. So when my family gets here, I can have fun. Because as you can see, there's nothing going on right now, but very soon, this party's going to be jumping. So you see how crazy it is. Everyone's having a great time. We're going to get ready to eat. My uncle's playing the accordion. I'm having a little bit of wine, and it's a beautiful day. I snuck away from the party to grab a slice of lasagna so I could show you how beautiful it turned out. It looks great, all the cheese is melted, 
and the meat sauce looks wonderful and everyone's already eating it. I actually made two of them, so there's enough to go around. But I just wanted to show you how delicious this looks. Mm. Oh my gosh. The three cheeses, the sausage, the ricotta. It all just bakes together and makes the most perfect Italian comfort food. So can you believe how much fun that was? And I didn't have to be in the kitchen the whole time. I got to have fun with my family. The lasagna was delicious and everyone had a ball. And you can do this too. Trust me when I tell you, it's easy, it's delicious. Everyone's in a freak out over it. For more recipes and tips like this, be sure to log on to my website at cookingwithsugar.com. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click on the subscribe button and subscribe today. Oh, and make sure you share me with your friends on Facebook and Pinterest because I know everyone's going to want to have this recipe.